As the Earth is heated by the sun, it produces lots of warm, moist air. Warm air rises. As it gains height, the moisture cools and condenses to form clouds. These clouds grow and merge into larger ones, rising all the time. Some of the water drops become too heavy for the updraft of air to lift and fall as rain. Are lifted by powerful air currents high into the cold upper regions where they freeze into tiny crystals of ice. As the cloud hits the base of the stratosphere, it spreads out sideways to form the anvil shape typical of thunderclouds. The clouds that make lightning are the largest clouds in the atmosphere. A big active cumulonimbus cloud is about as wide as it is deep, and they generate long anvils which extend horizontally in the prevailing wind aloft. Some ice crystals build in size to form small hailstones. Scientists believe that as these hailstones fall back through the rising ice crystals, millions of tiny collisions occur. These collisions build up an electric charge, which is stored in the cloud like a battery. A cloud is very much like a battery, but a battery with a much higher voltage than your typical uh, flashlight battery. Not one and a half volts, but 100 million volts. But what scientists don't know is exactly how this electric charge generates lightning. What remains a major meteorological mystery is how it is that ice particle collisions result in the generation of lightning. We're very much in the Middle Ages on that problem. 